What's up guys, it's Paul from Ride Out Reviews and I got a new TV review for you today. Have you ever checked out Apple TV Plus yet? So they got a couple of shows that came out and I'm gonna do Servant. So that's my first TV show review on uh, Apple Plus. So let's check it out. Servant stars Lauren Ambrose, Toby Kebbell, Nell Tiger Free, and Rupert Grant. Servant is about a family who goes through an emotional trauma that causes a rift in the family. This rift causes an entrance of something unexpected and something crazy to enter into their home. So these first two episodes, I believe, were uh, directed by M. Night Shyamalan. And I think that's why they um, put his name out there real first, because they wanted to have a big name for people to start watching this show. Uh, because Apple Plus is, uh, you know, new. But whatever Apple does, they do excellent. You know, they try their best to do and put the most... Uh, emphasis on their stuff as well as spend whatever kind of money they got to because they are a professional company they do well and and do well and do excellence all the time and I think they did so on this as well they had some great actors and actresses they were uh, phenomenal well uh, um, I could really feel the emotion the anger the the mysteriousness of the characters in the show as well as the production it was just uh, beautifully seen and shown and just had a ominous and, and dangerous and scary and cultic type of feel and atmosphere to the movie so their tv show i'm sorry and so whenever i watched this man i really was uh gripped and wanted to know what was in the story it was uh really fascinating the uh, arc that went between the the husband the wife and then even the the servant girl that came in it was it was uh it was it was quite quite good in that aspect man i thought wow um this would be crazy for this to happen and this is crazy that this is happening to this girl um and this is crazy that uh, this dude is seeing all this and letting it happen in a way it was like uh just a run of emotions allowing yourself to feel hope and then whew, getting dashed too. So this was a good movie. I know it sounds kind of vague because I don't want to give it too many spoilers. But I'm going to do a Christian uh, perspective on it. And you can hear a little bit more about what I think about the movie. In a, in a Christian perspective or a view of, in Christianity. But the bad is man. You know this thing even though it, it had so much uh, intrigue. And so much mystery. And so much desire to know what's going to happen. It never said. To me I felt like it was... Uh, unfulfilling in that aspect because I didn't ever get the understanding of who the girl is what's she doing what's her purpose and I think that they tried to try and make it such a mystery instead of trying to give us something to grab hold of to say ah uh, I don't know if it's because they're gonna do another season and that's how they're gonna unfold her character a little bit more or if uh, that was a single shot and just decided to keep it such a mystery, you know, kind of like those, um, you know, Inception or something like that, where you got to think about what would might happen. But I, I don't think they gave us enough clues. Um, it's like it all culminated in that final episode, trying to unpack all of the things that had happened at one time and I, I wasn't a big fan of that you know when I first saw the episode started watching that last episode I was like oh good to tell us more get to see more get to do more but they just never really did it but I did think the interesting part was how it was like you are our servant and so we get the idea of what it came from but who is she what she do and how is she doing it you know that's what uh that's what's crazy and I would have liked to known a little bit more about that. So what's my rating? Well, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 2.5 out of 5 R's. I thought it was very intriguing. It was very crazy in aspects of what that girl was doing and what the family was going through. But because it left me unfulfilled in the end, man, I was I just couldn't I couldn't uh, uh, make it fresh. Uh, but also, I think I'm going to check out the next season because I feel like if if it continues in the path and starts displaying or revealing more of her character and what it is, I'm definitely in. So I think you should check it out. But right now, I just don't feel like it's the uh, the best of the best. Just average, you know. Um, is the movie or TV show redeemable? Well, it's got a lot of uh, strong themes in it, especially about depression, 
about uh, hiding your feelings or suppressing your feelings. Also, just about going through tragedy as a family and what families do to come together or fall apart during such a tragedy. So, uh, and that I think it's actually a good redeemable show to watch, though I felt it was unfulfilling. I think that if you like this type of occultic type of uh, uh, stuff, but want a purpose and theme in it, then this will actually do that. So check it out, man. Hey, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you have anything to say about this show, go and put it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Also, hit the like button. Makes me feel good when I get somebody liking the show. If you didn't think it was good, don't worry about it. Hope you subscribe. Hit that, uh, uh, that bell. And finally, guys, hey, keep watching movies and keep watching TV shows. Thank you.